Hi everyone! This time, we will learn about how to modify and install control panels and boxes. Competitors will modify and install control panels and boxes according to the drawings. Let us have a look at the key points of this task. First, look at the drawings and mark measurements on the control panel using a mechanical pencil. Draw a baseline on the control box and mark the location with the mechanical pencil according to the measurement shown on the drawings. Mark the location of holes that will be punched out on the boxes. Second, when punching out holes, make sure you hold the battery drill vertically to the control panel. Third, after punching out holes, ream with a countersink and use a deburring tool for the part where the countersink cannot pass through. Fourth, after all holes are punched out, clean out the surroundings and install apparatus to the holes. Clean out the debris made from punching holes. Install apparatus to the hole according to the drawings. Label the names of apparatus according to the drawings. Fifth, when all apparatus are installed, write the names of the apparatus on the labeling stickers and attach the stickers to the control panel. Please double-check preparations in detail and personal protective equipment to be ready for the task. Let us have a look at the precautions to perform the task in this training. First, check the hole sizes in the drawings before getting to work. Check the size of the connectors that will be fitted in each hole. Check the gap between the apparatus accurately before drawing. Second, when punching out holes, they should be done at the exact points where holes should be made. Place the center punch at the exact point where holes should be made and punch out the hole while holding the center punch vertically. If the center punch is slanted during the work, errors in hole size may occur when working with a hole saw. Third, when working on the control panel with a hole saw, hold the tool vertically. If the hole saw is slanted during the work, it can cause damage to the control panel or fail to make the desired size of the hole diameter. Fourth, after using the hole saw, erase the markings. Before markings are erased, mark the points where holes should be made. After markings are erased, remove the markings that were drawn to make holes. Fifth, after punching out holes, be sure not to get hurt by the debris created during the operation. Debris created from punching out holes on the control panel. Since the control panel is made of steel, sharp debris is created after punching holes with a hole saw. Be sure to wear safety gloves and be careful not to get cut by the debris. Wear gloves when cleaning out plastic debris after using the hole saw. Use an awl to remove steel debris after using the hole saw. Have a look at what we are going to do in this training. Let us draw the control panel and boxes. Using a tape measure, mark the total length, width of the control panel, and draw with a T-square. Using a tape measure, mark the center point on the control panel. Using a T-square, extend the drawn line. Check the gap shown on the drawings, then mark on the control panel. Check the gap between the apparatus shown on the drawings, then mark on the control panel. Check the size of the connector that will be attached to the hole and mark on the drawings and the control panel. Competitors must check the size of the connector. 
pilot lamp 25 mm, PVC connector 25 mm, etc. Let us conduct punching work with a center punch. Conduct punching work on the locations of the holes marked with a center punch. When using the center punch vertically at the center of the hole, the center punch must be correctly located at the center of the hole. Competitors should use the center punch vertically for accurate punching at the indicated points. If the center punch is tilted, the work will not be conducted vertically. Then the dimensions of the hole will be changed. Let us conduct hole sawing. Check the size of the hole that should be created. Fit the adequate sized hole saw to a battery drill. Check if the hole saw is secured on the drill. If the hole saw is not fully secured on the drill, a wrong sized hole could be made and the hole saw could get separated from the drill during the operation. Punch out the holes with the hole saw at the desired point. Hold the tool vertically to the control panel during operation. The reason why the tool should be held vertically is because if it is slanted, errors in hole size could occur. Let us conduct hole reaming. Fit the countersink to a battery drill. The countersink should be fully secured on the drill in order to ream the hole smoothly. Using the countersink, conduct reaming to where the hole is created with a hole saw. Conduct reaming on the hole created with a hole saw. While operating the drill, slightly push with the countersink downward in a vertical direction. If the workspace is too small, use a deburring tool for reaming. Let us clean up the workspace. Cleaning out the control panel and boxes. Sweep out the debris inside the control panel and boxes created from punching holes with a hole saw. Gather the control panel and boxes to one side. This is to secure workspace and to prevent any safety-related accidents. Erase the markings on the control panel and boxes. Spray cleaning solution on a towel and erase the drawn markings thoroughly. Attach the apparatus and the name of the apparatus. 1. After checking the drawing, attach the apparatus. When attaching the apparatus, fix it after determining the location according to the wiring. Two, to attach the name of the apparatus, write the name of the apparatus on the name tag sticker. At this time, it is necessary to check the drawing. Attach the apparatus name to fit vertically and horizontally. Check again the key points of the task we've worked on in this training.
So far, we have learned about how to modify and attach control panels and boxes. Thank you for your hard work.